Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort and Casino in upstate New York. Today we're going to talk about the importance of what we'll call your spin axis for more distance. Okay, so we're talking about what we'll call your spin axis. In order to spin the fastest, we want to make sure that the body does not really penetrate too far past a line that I'll draw from the ankle to about the side of the head or the front of the brim in Carlos Correa's case. So I got Dustin Johnson on the left, line from his ankle to the side of his head, and you can see how the axis of his spine and his pelvis and his knees is spinning inside that line. This would be most important if we wanted to hit long drives. So I'll just play his whole downswing now, and you'll see how he just spins against that line. Simple little drill would be to uh, if you have a stand-up mirror, just draw a diagonal line at a uh, cut at an angle so that your body doesn't uh, pass through that from a lateral viewpoint. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting look. I've got Cameron Champ on the left, and I've drawn that line from his ankle to the back of his neck, and you'll see how the knees and the pelvis will spin inside of that line head will stay behind and the, the only time I advocate the head staying behind the ball like that that much is when the arms are trained to return the club with that lowercase letter Y. That is such a big deal. So if, if you're a flipper or a wrist breakdown, uh, I will not advocate you having the head uh, that far behind the ball, certainly not if the club is on the ground. So you really see how he uh, spins or turns, I should say, uh, inside the line I drew from his ankle to the back of his neck so that post follow through, you can see how his spine starts to match that line. On the right, this is an interesting look of Arnold Palmer from the top view. As he turns, you can see how I marked his shoulders with the red line now watch how quickly he is turning the shoulders. By the time his arms are about parallel to the ground, he spun his shoulders 180 degrees from pointing back to now pointing forward. Kind of a neat, neat look uh, to it. And both Kelvin Mayahira and George Gankis talk about the importance of the speed of the turn for more distance. So if the axis stays tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, now we can really spin faster. Okay, a couple key things to maintaining that spin axis, okay? So I've got a line cut at an angle from my ankle to the side of my head, okay? If you're videotaping yourself or if you have a mirror, just kind of take a, a long alignment rod and lean it. Uh, so we want to make sure in order to protect your back that your knees and your pelvis don't tilt that much. That's going to add a little pressure to your lumbar. We don't want that. So make sure that the knees stay level. That helps the pelvis to stay level. Now, in order to stay inside that axis, I just need a little lateral bend. Make sure that you're trying to approach the uh, golf ball from where the from the inside when you're doing when you're doing this. That's sure to add a few miles per hour to your swing. Hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification. Uh, leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. I'm Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap, coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort and Casino. Thanks for watching.